Hi, my name is Tina Kramer, and I'm a wedding and portrait photographer. Today I'm going to show you how to install the new MagRip 2 to your flash. The MagRip 2 is the newest version of the patented magnetic universal design, which allows you to instantly attach MagMod accessories to your flash, including new round head flashes. This is the top of the MagRip 2 with the lightning bolts facing up. If you see the slots, it's upside down, so turn it around. Step 1. Put the MagRip 2 in your dominant hand and the flash in your other. Step 2. With the lightning bolts facing up, place the MagRip 2 over your flash where your middle finger and index finger are resting. Use those bad boys to hold in place. With your dominant hand, use your thumb as leverage on the side of the flash and use your fingers to quickly stretch it onto the head. The faster the better, just like this. Yes, it's going to be a little difficult the first time you try it, but trust me, you can do it. Step 3. Push the mag grip 2 down the flash until it sits flush against the top. You might need to make a few adjustments to make it just right. Now you can attach any of the modifiers to your flash in lightning fast ninja speed. High five! Because the mag grip 2 is so strong, it will never accidentally fall off. But if you want to take it off, just simply slide it off one end and put it in your handy dandy fanny pack. I mean, camera bag. We recommend leaving your mag grip 2 on your flashes when not in use. It retains 99% of its elasticity even after long repeated use. It won't degrade or lose stretchiness over time. Now that I showed you a regular flash, I'm going to show you how to do the same technique on a few different flashes. This is a Godox roundhead flash. I'm going to show you how to use the same technique to put it on this one. So you're going to put it over the edge using your index finger and middle finger on the side and use your thumb as leverage and then slowly stretch it over one side and then the other. And then make sure to push it down so that it's flush with the top of the flash head. I know it can be a little difficult, but don't worry. Keep trying, it will work. Once it's on, you don't have to take it off again. And then you're ready for your modifiers. It also works with the popular AD200. And it's the same technique and it works just as easy on this one. And just in case you're curious, it also works with smaller flashes, such as the Nissan or the Canon 420EX. Thanks for watching. 